You're listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. If you miss any of the program, you can find the podcast at the bottom of the page at sunnyradio.com. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. Thank you so much for listening on a Thursday. It is a great night to be in downtown Sioux Falls tonight. Join us for the Mocktails Mix-Off. It's tonight, 5 to 8, at Startup Sioux Falls, 100 East 6th Street. Uh, we've got somebody that's going to win 500 bucks tonight. Somebody else is going to win 300 Another person is going to win 150 I'm going to be there broadcasting and playing music and having some fun. I would love it if you would stop down and join me. Uh, Heidi is going to be there as well. We've got, uh, in addition to this fun event going on, there's music tonight at the Levitt. Big free concert down there. So you can park and join us for this and then like walk right literally across the parking lot to the Levitt and enjoy some live music and some fun. It'll be a darn good time. And again, it is tonight, and both events are absolutely free to attend. You can learn more about the Mocktails Mix-Off at the website, mocktailsmixoff.com. And after the event is finished, we're going to be announcing the winner, and we'll also be posting all of the recipes. And I had a chance to peruse the recipes. They look really good. They really, really good. There's some really good, very, very creative people that are involved. Again, a mocktails mix off coming up tonight. Uh, coming your way here also tonight, we've got a comedian in Sioux Falls, and he's going to be at Lucky's in downtown Sioux Falls, and we're going to chat with him all about that coming up here in just a moment. Stick around for that. Also, want to remind you, Tuesday is the Fourth of July. If you're looking for fireworks. You can get some at the Fireworks Store. Amazing group of people. Uh, the Fireworks Store is our partner, and they're also the ones that help us with the fireworks event, uh, SiouxFallsFireworks.org. You can find the information. But that is a free event at the WH Line Fairgrounds next Tuesday on the 4th of July. And I've had several people reaching out asking me, hey, when are you doing the 4th of July event? What day? Uh, well, it is on the 4th of July. That's when we're doing that. So I know some people move it to different days. We are not doing that. It's going to be on the 4th of July, and I hope to see you there. All of the details at SiouxFallsFireworks.org. Give yourself a little credit. It's more important than ever to have a better credit card. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to visit with Cody Tiano. He is a very funny comic who's going to be in Sioux Falls tonight. And Cody, where are you actually from? I am from Ankeny, Iowa. All right, Ankeny. We've been there several times. That's a fun place. Yeah, it's a nice little town, nice and quiet. And this is uh, this is going to be a good show tonight. It's at Lucky's in downtown Sioux Falls, Lucky's Bar. And now we got to say Lucky's in downtown because there's two Lucky's. They opened a location on the south side of town, but this was at the Lucky's Bar downtown is where it's going to be tonight. And uh, now let's talk a little bit about how long you've been performing stand-up comedy. And, and Cody, what was it that first got you interested in doing this? Uh, well, first kind of got me interested was uh, actually my dad. Uh, he kind of just constantly played old... Uh, comedy albums from like Rodney Carrington and things like that and uh, I'd just be working on the job site with him back when I was 11 years old and just listening to that and hearing all the construction workers talk back and forth which is kind of where I got my sense of humor nice I guess you could say I love that and the thing that's really fun, you do a really good job. You're, I had a chance to do a little super snooping here. I'm looking forward to seeing you live in person tonight, but I've been friends with you, you know, on Facebook for a little bit and, and kind of following what you do. You get to go to a lot of fun places, and some of the places you go are kind of interesting places to hang out, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, just recently, earlier this year, I've been to New York for about a week, and I got to perform in New Orleans actually during Mardi Gras. I love that. So were there people throwing beads at you on stage while you're performing? Not at me. Uh, they did not <laughs> want to see what I had underneath. <laughs> now, uh, the, the, the show tonight is in Sioux Falls. It's in downtown Sioux Falls at a place called Lucky's Bar. And when you come in, you'll go right down the steps in the front area and you'll see it downstairs. It's a nice venue. Have you been at that venue in Sioux Falls before, Cody? I have been there before. I just kind of did a little guest spot uh, coming through. Uh, while I was going up to uh, North Dakota for a show and the folks that run the show, they were nice enough to give me a spot uh, for a few minutes uh, working with a few other comics. 
I love that. Well, I'm glad that you had a good time and, and such a good time that you're coming back. And you're not alone tonight. Alicia Rain will be hosting the event. Uh, Hannah Marie, a local comic, very funny young lady, she'll be there. And then Ben Weber is also there tonight. And then the headliner, Cody Tiano, is who we're talking to right now and from uh, Ankeny, Iowa. That's kind of by Des Moines. Is that when, when people ask where that is, is that what you say, kind of by Des Moines? Yeah, it's just north of Des Moines. That's the uh, Iowa way of doing things is just kind of which direction and how far it is from the capital. And so is there like a comedy club in Ankeny or do you go into Des Moines to do comedy? Um, I go into Des Moines. Uh, there's some stuff here in Ankeny. A few comics run some things in uh, bars. And then, of course, up north uh, in some of the smaller towns like Britt, Iowa. There's open mics all over the place. And there's only a select few of comedy clubs, but uh, one of them is more of a franchise, so it's harder to get into. Well, and you travel a lot. Like I said, I follow you on Facebook, and it might have been from when you came through town last time. I'm not exactly sure how we connected, but somehow we connected, because when I saw that I was talking to you, I was like, uh, I think I'm friends with him on Facebook. And I looked, I'm like, oh, we have been. I remember now. And uh, you get out to a lot of different places, like you had mentioned, New York and and, uh, New Orleans. And what would you say has been the most interesting place you've ever performed comedy? Is there a place that really stands out as this is the most interesting place? Oh, boy, there is so many different ways to go with that, but I would say there's some, there's some bars that I was not expecting. Uh, like I would be in, I don't know if you've ever heard of a place called Shenshin, Kansas. Oh no. Uh, it is, it is a tiny little town that, uh, as you're driving in a mile out, you can see all four borders of the town and it is nothing but trailers and houses, except for the bar I was performing at where they didn't even have a sign for their name but they had a light up Miller light sign. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, I was greeted by the bar cat and it probably walked me inside and that's where I performed. That was one of the more interesting places, I guess you could say. Did you and, have a, uh, a nice, York, did you have a nice crowd at the place in Kansas though? Oh, of course. Yeah. The wonderful people there. I got to see uh, a gentleman with a pot belly, but he had a six pack of beer tattooed on his stomach <laughs> and went by the name Dino. I love it. So, uh, interesting folks. That is awesome. Very, very cool. And you were saying New York? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're quite all right. Yeah, New York, there's just anywhere they can find a spot, a nook, or a cranny that they will put an open mic there and try to put on a show. It is, and that all amazing comics that I met out there, I had to walk up three flights of stairs on a fire escape to get into one, and there was it was surrounded by photography studios and wasn't sure where to go, and sure enough, it was a room that was the size of a closet, but they packed it up with as many people as they could. That's awesome. Well, we're excited to have you tonight. It's a nice space, very nice venue. Uh, it's in, in uh, Lucky's in downtown Sioux Falls, Lucky's Bar, and you go right down the steps there, and you'll see them there at uh, 224 South Phillips Avenue. That's the address. And again, we're excited to see you in Sioux Falls tonight, Cody. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you very much for having me. I'm excited to perform tonight. Absolutely. Again, Alicia Rain will be the host, and Hannah Marie, local comic, will be uh, performing tonight. Ben Weber is featuring, and then our headliner tonight, Cody Tiano, who we just talked to. It's going to be a really good time. Get your tickets, all of the information, at facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy. Again, facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for This Day in Sioux Falls History, brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page and Sunny 93.3. It was on this day, June 29, 1909, that John Morrell Meat Packing Plant opens for business. Multiple attempts had been made to sustain a slaughterhouse and a packing plant in Sioux Falls, the center of hog country. But all such endeavors had been stifled for one reason or another. Morrell's purchased much of the land and buildings existing from the previous attempts and with added infrastructure and regulation were able to build a lasting Sioux
Sioux Falls Cornerstone business. As a crossroads, first of major rail lines, then of the interstate highway system, Sioux Falls has always been a great potential location for a major meatpacking operation. RF Pettigrew spearheaded an attempt back in the 1890s with South Sioux Falls near modern-day 41st Street. The plant cost over a million dollars at the time and operated for less than two months before being shut down. The first building at the current location was erected in 1890 as part of the Sioux Falls Linen Mill. It was bought and utilized by the short-lived Sioux Falls Packing Company in 1895 and was finally used as a warehouse until 1909 when executives from the John Morrell plant in Ottumwa, Iowa were scouting southwest Minnesota and southeast South Dakota looking for a place to expand their operations. When they came across the old Sioux Falls Packing Company building, negotiations began in May of 1909, and the first hogs arrived June 24th of the same year. The first day of business for the processing and packing plant was this day, June 29th. A major renovation and expansion project in 1921 saw many of the buildings and the facilities you see today when driving by the Smithfield plant. There was a time when nearly everyone in Sioux Falls at one point in their lifetime had either personally worked for Morell's or had a close family member or friend who had. They have been part of the bedrock of our community for over a century and continue to employ hundreds of Sioux Falls citizens today. This day in Sioux Falls history has been brought to you by the Sioux Falls Fun Page at SiouxFallsFunPage.com and Sunny 93.3. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If that's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current one. Whether you're a fan of iPhones or Samsung, they both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, June 29th, brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Equity markets treaded water Wednesday while traders digested Tuesday's gains. The question on everyone's mind is whether the summer rally will continue or not. And it may be answered Friday. The May read of the PCE price index is due out and is not expected to give the FOMC much reprieve. The risk for investors is that the market won't heed the message given by the FOMC and they'll continue to rally despite hot inflation. In that scenario, the top of the market may be reached when the FOMC hikes rates again later this year. The earnings news is less than robust. The latest news from General Mills echoes news from Walgreens Boots Alliance in that cautious consumer habits are weighing on the outlook. In the case of General Mills, price hikes continue to offset weak volume and produce growth, but that situation cannot last forever and discretionary names are suffering for it. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com. Why did the chicken cross the road? To save money on insurance at insurancechicken.com. Do you have the best plan for you? Find out at insurancechicken.com. Let's face it, we don't even want insurance. We need it. But you don't need to overpay. Head over to insurancechicken.com to see your rates from several different companies. All available in one place at insurancechicken.com. The other guys have a gecko, a duck, and an emu. Why not a chicken? Insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com.